Good morning. My name is Dr. Mark Arrival, and today we'll be performing a robotic assisted sleep desk record. This is going to allow for patients who undergo a weight loss surgery procedure and allow for a quick recovery on the floor. Uh, we hope to be able to complete the operation through a series of small incisions that are going to allow the patient to recover with minimal pain and um, will allow the patient to return home in a speedy way. Uh, the first thing we do as we're placing in our instruments is a pure bilateral tap pump. This is a procedure that injects local anesthetic that's long acting into the abdominal wall and it's going to allow for uh, post operative comfort and pain control. It really has helped us decrease how many narcotics our patients need uh, after surgery. To the point that most of our patients may need three, maybe four doses of narcotics after surgery, and that's it. A good chunk of our patients are actually able to recover from surgery and need no narcotics once they get home. Once the once the cannulas for the robotic instrument are in place and the abdomen has had a the anesthesia block placed, the next thing that we do is we obtain a core biopsy of the liver. Uh, we use a instrument that's about the width of a needle. And with this, we're going to take a small sample of liver tissue. We do that because we know that there's a strong association between fatty liver disease, cirrhosis, and obesity. So this will help us diagnose that for future treatment. When we're looking here, the camera's uh, pointing into the left upper side of the belly. And what you see on the left of the screen is the liver. And we're now looking up into the right side of the belly. And in a second here, you're going to see a robotic instrument enter the abdominal cavity. That little blue bird's robin's egg situation in there is the gallbladder. And here's our instrument coming in from the right side. This fatty ligament that's in the center there is called the falciform ligament, and it suspends the liver up. But now we have one of our instruments in the abdominal cavity. The pink sliver behind there, that's the stomach, and that's what we're going to be operating on today. So the robot is, the easiest way to think about it, it's almost like operating a frame, right? There's a series of levers and pedals that I use here in the robot console that turns into motion on the actual effector and on the, on the robot side that's connected to the patient. So all the motion that I do here is translated into an action inside of the patient's body. Uh, the surgery has basically three or four parts. Um, the first thing that I do is I suspend the liver out of my way using a piece of suture. Uh, the next part that I do is I free all the blood vessels that go along the, the, the greater curvature along the left side of the part of the stomach. I free up all the nourished blood vessels. And then finally, once I have the whole stomach free from all those connections, then I introduce a, a sizing tube inside of the stomach and then we'll fire a series of staples through the body of the stomach in order to cut and remove that portion of the stomach. So that's what you're seeing. So right now we're about to staple the stomach, the first staple line. As you can see, he has a staple right there and he's asking anesthesia to advance the bougie to see how far he has to staple. Yeah. Yeah. So just for two things, we want to make sure that the sleeve looks adequately shaped on the inside, and that it's a good size, and it's a good caliber, that the staple lines are nice and straight. So far, it looks like it is. So a nice straight little cylinder. Uh, and once we confirm that, then we're done.